Hello people, today we are going to create a super optimal home hero for your website or for your client's website. I'm going to utilize a couple of AI tools just to speed this up, but of course you can use these as well. So I'm going to use Mid Journey just to create an image and then get some colors from that. And then use ChatGPT to help me pick the optimal headings and paragraphs. For this use case, I'm actually going to create a hero for a mock design agency. This design agency, maybe let's call it expertagency.com. Okay, that's the name we're going for. So basically what we're going to run through within this is how to show you to create the most high converting hero possible using the top tricks and all of the best statistics to get all of them clients obviously coming towards your business. Now apply this to any type of business. It doesn't need to be a design agency. But anyway, without further ado, let's crack on. So utilizing the Figma template that you can get in the description below. Obviously, if you see my previous video, which you haven't, I'll link it. Uh, this just explains all of the optimal sections you should have on a home page. Now, what we're going to do is just look at the header. So, of course, we've got the traditional header section here. Now, the first thing that you don't want to do is get too creative. There has been there have been so many studies where people have basically said that the more the simpler the website is, the more beautiful it looks. But not only does the simpler website actually get more style points, but it's going to help your users actually click on your CTAs and you're going to be able to convert them a lot more easier. The basis of this is because psychologically, people, when they're confused, they're not going to click things. They're just going to go, no, nope, I'm out. I don't want to do this. But if they know what a button looks like, they know what the traditional setup looks like, they're going to be able to use their brain power to actually buy or your service or product rather than trying to work out what your website does. So don't be overly creative unless you're trying to go for like some website awards because being overly creative is going to confuse the user. Now, this is a very traditional website. And if you're just starting out, I would just say stick to this layout. You've got an image on the right, all of the text on the left, and then the navigation at the top. Obviously, we're keeping the call to action button to the right and the logo to the left. And you can obviously put your links to either the left or right. But depending on how it looks, you can come up to that decision. Right, the most important thing that somebody's going to look at first is obviously the text, uh, the heading on the left. And we are going to come up with something for expertdesignagency.com. So let's come over to ChatGPT, type in, I run a company called Expert Design. Let's call it that. Um, I need a home hero section that explains the benefits the user will get but also what service I offer keep this under 10 words see what it comes up with and of course we're not just going to use the exact heading but we're going to use this to come up with basically to fish some ideas a transform space at elevating live expert design solutions let's say I am a design company that offers branding just to give it a bit more context to come up with five headings for my website header sometimes you just have to give chat a little bit more context and it's going to come up with some brilliant ideas now if you're not using this already this is something that you should be utilizing i use it to answer emails everything it is just absolutely brilliant but you can you can you get use it in such a way that it amplifies your own thinking so don't just replace everything with it use it right your vision aircraft tailored branded that's quite nice elevate your identity unique branding solutions bold branding for the forward thinking business transform your brand ignite your success um your vision aircraft branding brilliance captured your br let's try bold branding for the forward thinking business transfer your brand ignite success branding brilliance elevate your brand identity unique branding solution so that's actually saying something that's going to help with so it's saying we're going to elevate your br your identity by elevate your identity with a uh, unique branding solutions there we go we've got a wicked headline that you uh, explains what we're going to do for the user but also what we do ourselves now the second paragraph is actually going to be a paragraph that explains a little bit more about what you do the exact services so let's come back into 
ChatGPT. And then let's write, write me an in intro paragraph explaining I create logos, brand identities, and that you will stand out from the crowd with a bespoke design solutions. And let's say keep this under 15 words because we want to keep things nice and sweet because people aren't going to be reading everything. Right, let's check this out. Crafting logos and brand identities that make you stand out through bespoke design solutions. Yeah, let's put that there and then let's make it more personalized. So we'll put we craft logos and brand identities that make you stand out through bespoke design solutions there we go nice short and sweet now the call to action is we want to we don't just want to say click here we want to say what the button's going to do and we want to make it time sensitive so by using words like now exclamation marks making things like oh we need to book this now in fact i know one off let, let's let's type in book book your free consultation now now we want to keep uh cta buttons the same the the top right can be a slightly shorter version but we want to use the same words so book your consultation we can get rid of the action words like free and now but it's still going to have the same effect and then underneath that this is actually shown to improve conversion rates we want to have like a little line of text that when the person looks at the button and they're thinking oh maybe i don't want to do this we want to have that last little point of contact that might just swerve them into thinking let's click this button so what would somebody think uh, about having to get on call with a consultation that might, might be a bit anxious um, they might not think they're ready for it um, they might think that this design agency is a little bit too ahead of them so let's say something like book your no no hassle if i could spell i'd have that right a hassle your fr hassle free let's put your hassle free consultation to discuss your project now let's put a easy hassle-free consultation yeah a easy hassle-free consultation to discuss your project so somebody's going to think oh to book your free consultation now but then they're going to see this underneath and be like oh okay so it's not that serious let's just book it in and see what happens now let's add some exclamation marks to this button just to give it a little bit extra oomph right that should be smaller yet yeah, we've got that for let's put this at 14 pixels just so that it's like the hierarchy so you can see now if you were to squint this is a good design tip when you, I learned this through logo and branding years ago, but basically if you were to squint at this design, what would you see first? And if I squint, I see, which is good, it's the main heading first. That's what we want people to look at straight away. And then if we squint again, the next thing I see is this CTA button, which is even better because we're, after we tell them what we do and why we're going to help you, we want them to click the CTA. These bits of information are just additional to uh, if they want to learn a little bit more. So we are doing well so far. Let's actually get some color schemes and branding in there. And what we're going to do for this is going to be wicked. We're going to go over to Mindset AI. Now let's, not sorry, not Mindset. We're going to use Mid Journey in Discord. So I'm going to type in Imagine and I'm going to put in, let's say Design Agency, comma, Isometric, White Background. Let's see what that comes up with. Now, while that's loading, let's come back over here and let's stall these buttons. Let's make these a little bit more round. I actually prefer when it's uh, more round, especially for a creative agency. You don't want to be too rigid unless you're targeting, obviously, really sophisticated, sophisticated, sophisticated clients and you want to have them sharp edges. Let's get in this logo. So what do we say? Expert design. Let's make that bigger. Obviously, if I had more time, I'd create a much cooler logo than this, but we're just going to go nice and easy. So we're going to keep it. There we go. Expert design. Let's make that a little bit. There we go. In there. Nice and simple logo. Okay. Nice and simple. Here we go. Look, we've got some isometric designs here. Let's upscale number four because I like the orange. I think we can utilize the orange. And obviously, if you know your color theory, orange is the color of creativity. And obviously, it's a blend um, of red, which is obviously the color of action. That's why you see traffic lights are red because it speeds up the heart rate and makes people take action. So let's pop this image 
in here and see what it looks like. Cool, that looks pretty damn cool. Now, if we're gonna use the color scheme for this, let's copy this logo. So unlink it from my palette and then let's take, hmm, yeah, I think something, nah, a little bit more orange, a little bit more creative. There we go. Maybe a little bit hotter than that. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Let's unlink that. Let's get this here. Now, the white doesn't work too well. We want to obviously be as legible as possible. So I'm going to turn this to black. And then, actually, I think the white works better. I think uh, to increase legibility, the best thing to do would be to upscale this and then let's make that bold. Same with here. Actually, we can keep that to 16 because it's in the navigation. We want that um, CTA to be secondary to, uh, to this logo, to this button. Let's expand that so that's on two lines. Let's actually separate this heading a little bit more. Let's break these out, yeah. And then this image needs to actually fit within. Then let's remove that one below. Let's increase the size of this. Here we go, we can remove the tops and bottoms from here. And then we can increase the size of this. Nice, cool. Okay, I wanna pop this heading up a little bit. Let's get rid of this gap in here so that we can increase the size of this font. We want to make that as legible as possible. We want it the most legible thing on the page. Let's um, increase that size again. Right, elevate your, uh, elevate your identity, elevate your business. Elevate your business. Let's just go, go with elevate your business with our unique branding solutions. With our unique, uh, let's go with bespoke branding solutions. Is that a full stop? So, no, let's leave the full stop. Okay, cool. So let's add, let's put expert in orange as that is a, uh, brand color and then for these i don't like that these aren't as legible as i want them to be i actually want to remove bring the padding down a little bit and then bulk these up and we're gonna change that to medium and then let's give this a little bit of a gradient we could take the gradient from uh, the image itself so let's fill that we have to remove the fill from these okay here we go fill let's see what we got Let's see what we're working with here. If we take that one and then we put a linear, then pull that over there. At least it gives it a little bit more depth. Now, of course, if I had more time, I'd like to remove the background of that image so that we can make the gradient a little bit further. But I think that's actually a nice little color palette and I like how it's cutting in from the edge of this to give the navigation just a little bit more standout. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's make this text a little bit bigger. And I want to medium size that for the hierarchy. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's actually see. Yeah. Okay. I think we've got something here. Now, if I had more time, again, I would run this again. Like using AI, you, utilizing AI, you're just supposed to use it and then take it into Photoshop and, or Illustrator and then adapt it even further to fit your narrative. So... For example, this I think is a little bit too complex. What I would do is I would probably design it in such a way so it zooms in on people that are working on the laptop. So I, I just keep on prompting it to come up with something that I like. But you saw what I done with the text is uh, I just used uh, ChatGPT to give me the inspiration and then I added upon that. But I actually think if we come into the preview and just look at this full screen, we've got a nice, very simple header section. Oh, well, it hasn't done that for me. Clonables, scrub that. Let's just do it this way. Here we go. Right, so we've got a lovely bold heading here. That is number one saying what we're going to do for the user and number two exactly saying what we do and then with the heading underneath the paragraph we're then going to further detail so we actually craft logos and brand identities and then we give another benefit and then straight after that we've got the call to action and we're being very specific about what the call to action is and we're utilizing that in the same spot up in the top right as well then the extra little bit of text that is just going to put that user over the edge to click that button then of course your navigation always you can have the logo in the center or left i would advise not putting on the right because that's not a done thing 
remember don't break trends keep you, this isn't art this is ui ux this is sticking to a template that people understand because people are going to have six seconds to bounce on this home page understand what you do otherwise they're going to click off so you want things to be in the right order so you can get them optimal conversions now you can see how quickly i've created this hero you shouldn't be spending too long creating your own hero but you should be utilizing these steps to make sure that you are obviously utilizing the right strategies to optimize your conversion rate. You don't want people bouncing off your site all the time. Now, if you want this template, you can grab it in the description below. I want to see if you have any tips and tricks, so please leave comments below if I've missed anything out. This is a very quick video just explaining to you the basics of a header. I will go into more advanced depth in the future, but this is definitely enough for you to get started. Anyway, crack on. I'd love to see your agency uh, websites. In fact, join the Facebook group that is also linked in the description and show me your websites because I'd be very interested to see what you guys are up to as well. Anyway, take it easy and I'll speak to you guys soon.